So you must have been uh, pretty good with uh, with tools then, uh, since you you know you were doing all kinds of projects and buildings and community centers and so on. My both my grandfather and my father were builders, mm. okay. and um, I grew up with this blue collar ethic. I wanted to say bye to all you right. all. It was really great to meet you. I wish I could have talked to you longer. Right. But Same. We'll, next be time. Next time. Yes. Hey, yes, safe journey. Absolutely. All right. Take care. Safe journeys home. Thank you. Right. Bye bye. Take you. care. So um, your father and grandfather were builders, uh, carpenters, carpenters, builders, yeah. and uh, I had become an electrician mm -hmm. along during that time. I see. And so I can pretty much do anything. So how young are you now? I'm 63. 63. And uh, you're in good shape, I can tell. You got yeah. nice firm shoulders, and we work. Yeah. Uh, I continue to work all the time. Uh -huh. um, I've got. Uh, after we went back down, I kept going back down for six months and raising money mm -hmm. the other six months. Mm -hmm. and I remember I a lot of these, those mailings and right. campaigns. And, and I uh, ended up, well, when I was in Des Moines, I would work on the Catholic worker houses there mm -hmm. and remodel those mm -hmm. and then uh, do construction on the side to raise yeah. money. Right on. And wow. And then um, on one of those trips down to Chiapas, uh, I met a woman who became my wife. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so we, and what's uh, her name? Araceli Benitez. Araceli. Is that how you call her? Yeah, Araceli. Araceli. Yeah. Huh? And we uh, um, we visited her parents, who are very traditional, mm -hmm. and they asked that if we were to live together, we should marry. Uh huh. So we tried to get married. And in Chiapas, and we actually went to five different judges because in Mexico you have to be married civilly before you can marry in the church. I see, yeah. So we went to five different judges, and the last two actually said to me, We don't marry between the races because she's an indigenous woman. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we did finally get married from the sixth judge, who was the first Indian judge appointed. Wow. By President Fox. Adios, hermano. The first Indian judge appointed by President Fox, and he married us on his he first. He understood us slightly better. Right. Yeah. He, he married us on his first day in office. Wow! And this was in 19. What year are we talking here? 90 something. Uh, 2001. Oh, 2001. Okay. Right. And so that we finally got married. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and then. Um, at that stage, I decided we'd, I'd move down there, and uh, so I did, and we worked in the community center, and Araceli became, uh, we put her in charge of the daycare center, mm -hmm. and we started the very first daycare center wow. in Chiapas. Wow. And it was for Indian mothers who'd been uh, single mothers, wow. most of whom had been uh, raped. Mm. During the the Zapatista conflict, yeah, by right. The yeah, I, I I wanted to ask you a little bit about that. Um, you had there was a strong, very strong in the mid 90s, I believe, uh, Zapatista uprise, and it was centered in that in Chiapas and in San Cristobal area primarily, wasn't it? That's Can you true. talk a little bit about that? Um, I think. Hold on, hold on a second. I'm gonna stop this here.